So we've just slogged a zillion miles back to the truck. We were in deep wilderness and Tabitha discovered in this wash, the luckiest thing I have ever seen anybody discover. So cool. So here it is. We've been pretty baked lately, Tabitha and I. I've been editing a lot. We're prepping a new movie called Mars Has Eyes, and we had to get out of town. So we left Vegas today and headed way out in the hills, really remote spot, and figured, let's just walk, let's hike. It's a dry lake below us, and I thought, you know, let's just go over there. Maybe we'll find some lithic flakes or something. Ancient peoples would populate around these old dry lakes thousands of years ago when there was actually water in them. And so we decided just to choose this really random spot and hiked in maybe about two and a half miles or so, three miles maybe, and came around a corner of this big, huge, giant wash, this ancient wash. I looked up on the hill and found these old mine works. Really, really cool. Now I know that there's some old mines south of here that date to late 1800s and by, by about 1907, 1908, they were pretty much done. They played out and so these people, these old miners were gone at that point. So I hiked up, I found this old, huge old chute up here and uh, hiked up to check it out and uh, very old, old site for sure. It was cool because when we came around the corner and we looked at the old rotten aged wood from this old mine there were bird's nests up on top, so ravens, maybe uh, maybe falcons, eagle, I don't know. Anyway, these big bird's nests were, are up inside the mine. I thought that was cool. That was an interesting way that nature's repurposing this old abandoned mine from the early 1900s. So then I kind of crawled through the rubble, scrambled up, and found this old tank up on top. These are the kinds of locations I love to look for is when I find these old rusty tanks that are over 100 years old and things like this. They make for really great photo ops, photographic locations, be it a landscape, be it a glamour shoot. And then for movies, if it's like a science fiction and you're sort of doing a hills with eyes kind of thing, like a horror thing, something along those lines, you never know like what you're gonna, what you're gonna sort of stumble upon and we did like we found this really super awesome location so i scrambled around when i got to the top of the chute there were three uh corridors three shafts coming down from the chute where they dropped the rocks well at the top of that there's the mine shaft there's a little coiled up cable and as i walked forward i saw that there was the old mine shaft right there and it's about half buried with sand so over the years there's a lot of sand dunes around here by the way and over the years the sand has kind of piled up so Tabitha has been roaming around below looking for things on the ground, see if she can find any old coins or things like that. You never know. We don't have our metal detectors with us today, so that's out of, the, out of uh, reach, but super cool. So I walked up and by the tank there was a foundation where there was an old house up there, and based upon everything I'm seeing, the metal, the nails, the, the degree of rust, I'm convinced that this was a super old site, definitely more than 100 years since anybody's been mining up here and it uh, uh they were serious so i mean they built a big chute so super fun tablet is around the corner neat site beautiful day we thought it was going to rain at first we brought jackets just in case but it's probably 65 70 ish somewhere in there and uh really really pleasant really nice so we're going to keep exploring we're down on the the bed above the dry lake right now looking around to see if we can signs of any ancient the ancient hunter gatherers to see if they were hanging around down here next to this old lake, so onward.
Gary's up taking photos. So I'm just gonna chill out down here. He's right back there. <laughs> I'm just soaking in the sun. It is so nice. Ah, fabulous day. Like, it got really hot today. Oof. Hmm. So... <laughs> So Tabitha has treats for us. We're hiking back and it's a grind. It's a slog fest. Mm -hmm. It's all uphill, crazy heavy pack. I have three camera systems in my pack today, man. It's brutal. It is. And you have something for us to snack on, right? Yep. What are these things called? Stroop waffles. Stroop, stroop waffles. Yes. Break out the stroop waffles. <laughs> well, I wish I had other things, but you have to drive, so we can't have the magical. Oh, festivities, magic candy. Yeah. The edible sort? No, I'm driving back. I'm the designated non-edible driver. Yeah. However, Tabitha can can uh, partake in partake the festivities. Of, of, yes. Every day, all day long. Just saying, but I don't all day long. Just sometimes. All right, let's get this food out. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So we've just slogged a zillion miles back to the truck. We were in deep wilderness, and Tabitha discovered in this wash the luckiest thing i have ever seen anybody discover so cool so here it is look at this this is a horseshoe or a burrow shoe maybe this is crazy old it's rusted all the way through it's tiny it's about four inches i've never seen one this small before if there are any cowboys or prospectors or anything like that out there let us know what your opinion is what you think this came from and how old it could possibly be because this is really cool <laughs> 